So I decided to put black in the background because I think it looked better that way. And I put a little bit of gray in some areas, so I think that looks better. Um, and then, this is the second one I'm working on. I don't think I can get 31 drawings done, um, but I'll keep going. And then I have this third drawing I want to get inked to, so hopefully I can get that done soon. Um, I got a late start to the morning, so I have to do my laundry and stuff, so I'll see. Hello, um, I don't have any talking portions in this video yet, so I thought I would do that. Um, yeah, so basically what I've been doing is just, I guess I'm participating in um, Inktober, but not really because I'm taking my time, so I'm not doing really 30 drawings or 31 drawings, I'm just doing drawings whenever I feel like drawing slash also just taking my time so I'm making things I really like. So I'll show you, I, I have clips already of me drawing this but I finished this one. So it's just, um, yeah, I, I didn't know what I was, I guess I'm trying to go for a Halloween-y spooky vibe in the drawings. Um, and then this is the second one. It's not done yet. It's almost done, but I have to do some other details on it But yeah, it's just I think you get the vibe of what I'm going for just very Simple slash detailed um, Drawings and then this is going to be the third one. I'm going to work on so um, It's just the sketch of it and yeah, so what I've been using are like microns and Prismacolor little pens and also some markers. So I use, um, yeah, I, mean, I think everyone knows what microns look like. They're just, um, I don't know how to use this. Okay, here we go. So everyone knows these. So these are, um, I usually use a smaller nib one. So I have, I think the biggest I usually go is a, Zero three, but the smallest that I do really like, which I should get a new one of because I think it's starting to dry out, is the zero, this one. The zero zero five one. So it's really, it's a really tiny nib and I really like it. And then um, I also have these St Stadler, Stadler, I don't know how to pronounce it, these ones. Um, and these are pretty good too. Um, I like both of them. Yeah. Um, and then for the markers, I have these like Prismacolor ones. I think I like 
I remember I have this weird, I think in college I got these. I didn't buy them. I think I just like won them or they were giving them away and somehow I got them. I don't know. I don't know if everyone got these or just I got them. I forget. But um, I think Prismacolor or some company came and gave us free stuff. So uh, they're just like these double-ended markers. Um, so one side is like a marker. Well, they're it's all marker, but this kind of smaller tip. And then the other side is like more of like a brush, like a brush kind of tip. Um, yeah, and I really like them. And they this is just like a black set and they also have like grays and so it, it'll tell you the percentage i guess of pigmentation because some of them say like like 50 percent 40 percent whatever so yeah that's what i've been using um and also i wanted to show a little uh kind of like product stuff for for my um shop for those who don't know that i have i opened an etsy shop uh earlier this year in 20 yeah, 2020 earlier this year uh, in January and I want to show you guys all the prints and stuff I have up there right now and then I'm gonna give you a peek into what I want to add to my shop so I have these um, eight and a half by eleven prints so here's the first one of the first and this one's actually like I don't have that many sales um, on my shop yet but I find that people like this one it's just like you know fairy or elf or something which I tend to draw um yeah and this is on like really nice uh matte uh I guess thicker kind of card stock and then on the back it has my little um icon and stuff so here's the first one and then I have this piece which I still really like I did this a few years ago but I really like it I think the colors are nice and yeah i like the way this came out um oh and this one this would be a good print for all you guys that are into halloween october um just some witches just in a field walking around um yeah same deal these are all like eight and a half by eleven same paper um then i have this one this is a little more realistic than what I usually do, but I still really like the way I painted and everything. Um, I think it's a cool, a cool idea. Um, and then oh, this one, I like this one a lot. This one also is kind of like a, I did a few years ago, but it still, I think, holds up all right, I think considering i know i can all these prints that are a little bit older i know that i can probably paint them better now but it still doesn't take away from the way i, st I like them still does that make sense it still doesn't take away from the fact that i still like them regardless if i can paint it better now so yeah i like this one <laughs> i just i should say i just like all of them and then this one is really cute this was um this is more of like a I guess it could be a story to go with it. It's just a boy with an umbrella and a girl stuck in the rain. So just helping her out. I have a version of this where it's colored, I think on my website, but I kind of liked it better when I took away the color and just had it black and white. And then I also have these smaller prints, which are really cute. Um, so I have, they're more of like, uh, kind of like spot illustration type stuff. Um, so he's just a girl. I really like this this size. I think I want to do more of this kind of size because um, it's low pressure and also it's just I just think it's cute. And I do have a bunch of these kinds of prints that I buy from other people. So um, I like I like I like this size. Okay, so in this one, I feel like I really want to use this character again like draw him and doing other things because i just am a fan of him i like drawing like moody angry people like look how angry he is but yeah this is like a little bread little bread boy and then there's this one 
a little more on the, I guess, gorier side. Um, it's funny because the things I like to draw, it's either like cute or it's kind of more like serious like this. I like to have a little bit of a, a range. So that's all of my prints that I have in my store. And I also have um, a little zine or booklet. Um, this is from when I, it's kind of a compilation of Inktober's or just ink drawings I did for the past couple years. And then I never could finish a full Inktober. So I just, I think from two Inktober's, I just combined my most favorite drawings because everyone has those days in October when you have a drawing that you're just doing for the day and then you don't like it because you know that you kind of were rushing it or weren't inspired. But I'll just give you a sneak peek. Um, it's a really nice size. I like this kind of um, size for a booklet. And um, yeah, so there's, there's drawings on each page. Um, and yeah, the only thing is that I, I do know this, that uh, I still like it, but the only issue with this book is that when, I don't know if you can see it here, you can kind of see through it so the pages aren't as thick as maybe I would like so you can kind of see the next drawing through it um that's the only thing like if I were to order these again I'd get a thicker paper but I still like it um I want I'm wondering if I should lower the price like right now it's at 15 because I feel like you get a lot of drawings and I worked really hard on the drawings but then I wonder if people are willing to pay 15 for this quality. Like it's it's not a bad book. It's like really good quality. The only thing is you can see through the pages. So let me know if anyone wants to comment how much you think this would be. I, maybe I could like lower it to like 12 or something. I feel bad because a couple people already bought it at that price, but I don't know. This isn't really selling very well, so maybe I should lower it. Um, yeah. So, and then on to stickers. So I've been really into making stickers. So this, I think I'm just gonna make a bunch of stickers like in the future, just keep making more and more because that, I think they're so fun to make. So of the, some of the prints I showed you, I did make them into stickers. So for example, the one with um, the rose with the hand, um, I made a little, little sticker. This one's really pretty, I like this one. Um, I think it's perfect as a sticker. And then also a little wolf guy. It's a sticker. A little demon boy. It's a sticker. And these are really good quality stickers. I think I got them from Sticker Mule, but I think I want to try Sticker App because I think a lot of people use them and I want to try them out. But these are from Sticker Mule. Um, oh, and this one, I didn't make it to a print. This is just a sticker, but it's just a peach. And this one I really like too. It's funny because um, in college I had a, a painting that I did. Maybe I'll show it one of these days, but there's this painting I did for a final project and it was an acrylic painting. And in the background, I had like a giant peach with water droplets. So this is kind of like an homage, I guess, to that painting in a way, which I didn't realize, but yeah, peach. I feel like peaches. Should I do more fruits? Cause I like I like the way peaches look aesthetically, so that's why I painted it. But maybe I'll do other ones too. And also, if you buy from my shop, um, you get a free little sticker. This is new, but I made these um, fairy. Oop! I made these fairy stickers. She's on a mushroom. Um, so they're kind of. What happened was I got these. Uh, printed and I like them, but I thought they were kind of on the smaller side for this image. I feel like it would look better bigger, so I thought I might as well just um, include it as a little freebie. So yeah, you get this free sticker in your order. And then um, let's talk about the new stuff I want to add. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited for these. So I have a sticker set. Um, so they, the packaging is going to look like this. So it says elf sticker pack and then you get uh, four stickers. And this is how the back looks like it has my, all my information. So I designed this little backing card and then uh, the four stickers in there are three inch stickers. And I'll show you what they look like individually. 
So they're pretty hefty stickers. So you get four of them. So this is the first one. So this is like a, a elf sticker pack. So I made four different elves. So here's the first one. And then here's the second one. And then here's the third one. And then here's the fourth one. I really like this one. I like the way I did the hair and stuff. And then I have uh, a new, uh, three, three new prints that I want to add. No, four new prints that I want to add. So first I'll show you this one. So this is a, a different size than what I have. This is my only larger, um, my only larger print. So it's a uh, 11 by 14. It's a piece I did a little like I want to say maybe a couple years ago, I don't remember, but this is a, one of those pieces where I struggled. I really wanted to do more of a dynamic background and have like um, more characters in it. So it's a pirate ship, pirates uh, fighting or battling at night. Um, I really like it. I have this print. So this is just a little elf, again, I don't know if you can tell, I just like drawing elves and fantastical things, people with pointy ears, basically. <laughs> um, There's a little elf boy sitting on a rock with like a tree. I really like the colors and everything with this one. It's more muted, it's less like brightly colored, um, but I kind of like that. Next, I have this again. If you like elves, then my shop is for you. But there's this elf character holding a harpy eagle standing on a hill with a tree. Um, this one I like because it's very brightly colored. It's very saturated with her red hair and it contrasts against the green color theory, you know. And then the last print that I want to update my shop with is this one. So this is, again, <laughs> an elf girl crying for some reason. I just like drawing like water droplets and tears, so I like to incorporate that into my work. But um, yeah, she has like a little lily pad type of hat on with some lotus flowers and cloud um just show it up close so you can see the quality of it but yeah so and also i i'm sorry for my last video i sounded really nervous and really like i don't know i just hated the way i, I sounded in that video but i'm trying to be more normal for this one um yes so that is my etsy shop update because i didn't update it yet but you get a little peek into it um and i will continue and try my best to do my ink drawings for this month i i i've accepted that i will not get a drawing done every day it's more like maybe three drawings a week maybe because i do have a job that i physically go to that i takes up a lot of my time um so i'm not trying to put all that pressure on me to get all these drawings done because last time i did that i made a whole bunch of drawings that i hated and i posted it just for the sake of it and it i it's not a nice feeling so i know they say oh don't post things i mean no what do they say they say oh even if you don't like it you should share it anyways i don't know about that because then you're stuck looking at this at this ugly thing and then like it just messes up your whole feed and blah. yes so yeah i just wanted to give a little update on that and yeah today my plan is um me and my boyfriend are gonna go to central park i'll take you along with me when i go out and yes am i done i think i'm